And, and in this video, we're going to discuss integration by parts, which is one way to be able to evaluate certain integrals. And in particular, we're going to be doing integration by parts for indefinite integrals for the moment. In the next video, we'll do it for definite integrals. So first, let's define what integration by parts is. So say we have uh, a function. Uh, so if f of x and g of x are differentiable functions, that are, integra uh, that are integrable over this range, you can take the integral over that range, then this integral, to be able to get this integral, is just essentially this form there. Okay, so if we get integral f of x g prime x dx, this is equal to getting f of x times g of x minus the integral of g of x f prime x dx. So typically, when we do integration by parts, we let u, okay, so this is commonplace notation in most textbooks, we let u be equal to f of x, and we let v be equal to g of x. Then what you'll notice is that if you take the derivative of u, that's essentially uh, f prime x dx, and if you get the derivative of v, that's g prime x dx. Okay, now... What we're going to do is we're going to sub. So remember, our form is um, uh, integral f of x uh, g prime x dx equal to f of x g of x minus integral g of x f prime x dx. So we're, like, we're going to substitute u and v here. So this is integral f of x, that's just u, g prime x, that's d uh, v dv. Okay, note that dx is there already. That's going to be equal to, so that includes that, equal to f of x, that's u, g of x, that's v, minus integral, copy the integral, g of x, that's v, then f prime x dx, that's just du, right, du. And that's where we get this um, form here, which is this one. So we can get... Uh, the integration by parts sort of formula, which is that the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du. So if you repeat it in your head like a thousand times, you're going to memorize it, I tell you. Then the success that you can have in trying to integrate using integration by parts really depends on the proper choice of u and dv. Because remember, you're getting the integral of that function. So your choice variables are u and dv. So ideally, you would want a u that's easy to derive, okay, and you would want a dv that's easy to integrate. Okay, so those are our rules of thumb. So I think it's best that we just go directly to an example. So let's have, we're going to have three examples here. So let's start with the first one. So say integral x, uh, e raised to x dx. So in this case, so let, uh, let u be equal to x. And then we let dv equal to uh, e raised to x dx, okay? Then from here, you're going to find that du okay, is just going to be equal to derivative of x with respect to itself is 1. So that's just 1 dx, okay? Then uh, v uh, is just going to be integral of e raised to x dx. And that's just going to be equal to e raised to x. Right, and then following our integration by parts formula, so that's integral u v minus uh, u dv rather, sorry, integral u dv is equal to u v minus integral v du. So substituting everything together, so that's just x, that's u, uh, v is e raised to x, okay, uh, dx. So this is going to be equal to um, integral uh, uv, uh, so that's x, uh, then v is e raised to x, okay, then minus uh, integral, okay, v, v is e raised to x, then uh, du, okay, du is just dx, okay, then if we just uh, get that integral there, we're going to find that it's going to be x e raised to x minus, okay, integral of e raised to x, that's just e raised to x, right? 
then plus c. So this solves that integral. Okay, so that's how to do integration by parts. So let's move to another example. Say we have integral of square root of x ln x. So uh, let's uh, let uh, u be equal to uh, ln x because that's easy to derive. And then let dv be equal to uh, uh, square root of x. Notice that this is equal to x raised to 1 half, right? That's equal to x raised to 1 half. Then uh, we're going to get du. du is just what's the derivative of ln x. That's 1 over x dx. Then v is just the integral of dv. So that's going to be equal to, if you do that, it's just going to be 2 over 3 x raised to 3 over 2. Okay, so that's the uh, integral of dv. And you just plug into the formula. So that's integral u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du. And you're going to be left with uh, follow the form. So u is equal to uh, ln x. So ln x times uh, v, which is 2 over 3x, three, 3 over 2, minus integral v is going to be... Uh, 2 over 3, x 3 over 2, du is times a 1 over x dx. Then we're gonna, just going to simplify this. So we get uh, 2 over 3, x 3 over 2, ln x minus, um, this is, we can take this out. Uh, so that's 2 over 3, integral of uh, x. So notice, uh, 1 over x, so this is the same as saying, uh, this one is the same as saying x raised to negative 1, right? So we can combine this one and this one, so we're going to be left with x raised to 1 half dx, okay? Then uh, we can solve for this integral, so this one, that's just going to be equal to what we had earlier, so that's 2 over 3, x 3 over 2, ln x, minus uh, 2 over 3, then this integral, that's just 2 over 3x, three, 3 over 2, okay? Then if we simplify everything, that's, um, that's going to be 2 over 3x, three, 3 over 2, ln x, minus, uh, just multiply it, 4 over 9x raised to 3 over 2 plus c, and we get that integral there, uh, that answer there. Then let's proceed to this example. So a little bit more complicated now. So integral 3 minus x times 3 raised to x dx. So let's uh, set, so let uh, u. So in this case, let u be something easy to derive. So that's 3 minus x. Then du, okay. If I derive this one, this is negative 1 dx or just negative dx rather. So that's just negative dx. Then let v, of course, be equal to, uh, dv be equal to 3x raised to x. Then if you take the integral of that, so by rules of integration, that's just 1 over ln 3 times 3 raised to x. So that's the integral of that. Then again, um, the never-ending uh, formula, uv minus integral v du. Okay, so just plug in. So u is 3 minus x, v is equal to uh, um, 3 raised to x all over ln 3. So we'll just simplify that there. Minus uh, integral, okay, integral of uh, v is 1 over ln 3, 3 raised to x. Then du, so minus dx. Okay, so let's be wary of that. Let's simplify, that's 3 minus x, 3 raised to x, all over ln 3, minus uh, 1 over ln 3, integral of, uh, integral of uh, 3 raised to x, negative dx. Okay, now, this negative here will cancel out there because it's a negative times a negative. So, we're going to be left with... Uh, so this, this one will become positive. So let's just take that out quickly there. So this one's a dx. Okay. Then let's just uh, take 
the integral of this, which we already know, right? So that's 3 minus x, 3x, ln 3, plus 1 over ln 3. Then the integral of that is 1 over ln 3, 3 raised to x, okay? So uh, we have that one. Then we're just going to simplify everything. That's 3 minus x, 3 raised to x, all over ln 3 plus 1 over uh, ln 3, in this case squared, because we're going to multiply the 2, since there are two terms there, times uh, 3 raised to x plus c. And that's, uh, well, those are three examples of integration by parts in an indefinite integral. Thank you for watching.